Hi, I'm Emily of Emily's Line Fitness, and welcome to this quick, strong, 20-minute upper body push workout. In today's upper body push workout, we are going to be focusing on our push muscles, so that means your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps, and we're gonna be using some heavy weights for those exercises. So I have a heavy, a medium, and a light set. Go ahead and grab your weights, come to your mat or your sur soft surface, and we'll go ahead and get started. And of course, if you like this workout, if you like some of my other workouts on my channel, then I encourage you to like and subscribe. Having a bigger group of subscribers, having a larger community is gonna help me make more videos for you just like this one. All right, so for the format of this workout, we are going to be doing three circuits of three exercises each. You'll have 30 seconds of work with 10 to 15 seconds of recovery between each exercise. We'll do three rounds and then we'll move on to the next muscle group, okay? We're gonna start with the warm up. so go ahead and come to stand. And we'll begin with some shoulder circles. So arm circles, one arm, doesn't matter which. You're just gonna give me some big circles, forward, up, back, and around. Good, last four, last three, we'll switch sides, last two, last one, same thing, other side. Ooh, I don't know if you just heard my shoulder crack. Normal, just moving around in the socket, it's gonna make some noise. All right, we're gonna take it to a walkout next in four, three, two, last one, go ahead and come to one side of your mat. You're gonna roll down, walk out, hit your plank position and give me shoulder taps. Just one tap with each arm. Coming back up to stand, roll down, walk out, two shoulder taps. Two more just like that, and then we'll hold it down. Tap, tap. This next one, you're just gonna hold it down at the bottom and keep shoulder tapping for eight. Good, in seven. Last six, last five, Last four, we're gonna take it to two push-ups. You can do it on your knees or your toes. In three, two. All right, so knees or toes, you're gonna bend your elbows towards the outer edges of your mat. Push back up, down, push, and walk up. All right, so we're feeling a little bit warm. We're gonna continue warming up in our first exercise. First exercise of circuit one, we are gonna be focusing on your chest. We have a push-up with a punch, so. You're gonna find your push-up position. Give me one push-up, and then punch each arm one time. Again, you can do this on your knees or your toes, so whichever option works better for you. Second exercise is going to be a chest press. You're gonna be laying on your back with your heavy weights. We push the arms towards the ceiling, and then bend the elbows back down to a hover. You push, and you bend. From there, I'm gonna to come to a kneeling position, and we're gonna go for a chest, a kneeling chest lie. So you'll have your weights at your sides. You'll lift up and across. Think opposite pinky to opposite shoulder, okay? We'll go ahead and get started in five. Getting ready for that push up to punch in three, two, here we go. One push up, two punches. One push up, there you go, two punches. You've got less than 15 seconds left. Keep going. We're gonna be laying on our back with our heavy weights in five for our chest press. Four, three, two, and release. All right, so I'm gonna grab my heavy weights. For me, these are a little bit heavier than 10 kilos. We're gonna be laying on our back for that chest press in four, three, two, lay down. You punch and slowly resist. Punch, slowly resist. Good. So we're feeling the chest. Always grace your chest press after doing some push-ups. <laughs> Less than 10 seconds. Now for my next move, I would recommend going to a medium or a light set. Four, for our kneeling chest fly. Three, Two, last one. All right, so getting up safely, of course. 10 seconds. We're gonna go for that kneeling chest fly. Opposite hand to opposite shoulder. In three, two, you're gonna take opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Good, that's a little too heavy for me. Here we go. Yes, there we go, nice. So I knew it's too heavy for a couple of reasons. 
The one that was most glaring to me, aside from it feeling heavy, was that I felt like I needed to kind of use momentum to get the weight up. That's a clear signal, the weight's too heavy. I don't want you using momentum here. You're in control. Three, two, release. All right, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go back to those push-ups. So one push-up, two punches. Good, and I'm working in an apartment, right? So I don't have a ton of space. I'm gonna do my best. Three, two, that means doing your best. Push up, punch, punch. Oh. We're still a very homemade operation here over at Emily's Line Fitness. Maybe one day, we'll have a whole studio, a whole big set of weights, decor, etc. For now, I'm in my bedroom. I'm working with the weights I got. I'm sure my setup looks pretty much like yours. Three, two, release. We're gonna flip over for our chest press. But the lesson is you don't need fancy to get a good workout. Because this certainly isn't fancy and I'm certainly feeling it. Three, get ready to lay down. Last two. Woo, here we go. Punch. Good, and that weight is just on top of my head, which honestly is where I want it, fine. Bend and straighten. <clears throat> Last 10 seconds. Good, and when I bend my elbows, I'm really resisting the weights here. It's called the eccentric phase of the muscle contraction. Three, two, press, and I feel that the eccentric, or not I feel, I know, that the eccentric portion it's really where that muscle building happens. Let me just get these weights out of the way. Five, last four, three, two, chest fly. Good. Yes. Whew. Now you'll have to tell me if you've tried this workout and you've tried my pull workout, what muscle groups do you prefer to work, pull or push? I feel that the, in the general community, people prefer pull. I so, last one, so prefer push. Push, I feel like I'm, I'm thriving. Pull, it's always a bit of a struggle. All right, last 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds in fact. We're gonna do that final round, push up, punch. One push up, two punches, three, two, here we go. One push up, two punches. Good, and you can breathe loud here. Push the air away as you come up to get a little bit more assistance from your abdominals, helping brace your back. Again, if you feel like you're um, arch, uh, arching your back indeed, go ahead and come down to your knees. Three, two, and release. We're gonna go for that chest press. <sighs> Less than 10. Nice thing about these moves is that we're getting to say goodbye to them as we go. Three, two, whoo, chest press, overhead, and bend. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. 10 seconds. You got this, bending slowly, extend all the way at the top for four, three, two, and release. Beautiful, all right, we're gonna go for that kneeling chest fly, and then we'll get a whole new set of exercises to work your shoulders. Five, three, two, here we go. Good, exactly, slow and controlled. That's the name of the game. If you have lighter weights, you can do two at the same time. For me, that's a little heavy. So I'm gonna again, stay with one weight at a time. Last five, four, three, two, and release. All right, circuit one, done. Circuit two, we're gonna focus on the shoulders. We are going to go first, I'm gonna come up to stand to an alternating Arnold press. 
So you're gonna have the elbows in line with your shoulders, palms face in. You open up, punch overhead. Opposite arm open up, punch overhead. From there, we're gonna go to a lat and front raise. Your arms are gonna go out at about a 45 degree, palms down, and then flip your palms in and reach your arms forward. Final exercise is gonna be punches. Nice and easy, I'm sure you've seen these before. All right, 10 seconds, pick those weights. So I'm gonna go heavy, shall we? Let's, whoa. Arnold press, three, two, here we go. Punch, slow lower. Punch, slow lower. Good, pull your abdominals in. 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna go all the way to my light weights because I have a hard time with lat raises. Less than 10. Final four, three, two, and release. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my light weights. We're gonna go for those lat to front raise. Less than 10 seconds. Five, one to the 45 degree angle, one in front of you. Oh, here we go. One to the side, one to the front. Now, you can alternate the arms. If that feels like a better option for you. I'm gonna do a little bit of both. And you can always pick up the pace if you're using lighter hand weights. Mm. Last four, last three. I'm gonna do one more lat raise, do it together. Two, and release. All right, last bit is gonna be those punches. 30 seconds of punches. Think of something that's got your goat here. Think of something that's irritating you. And we're just gonna punch it out. Four, I've got my thing. Three, two, punch it out, punch. Now I'm gonna turn to the side. When I punch, I punch at about shoulder height or chest height, let's say. And I try not to bring my elbows behind me when I come down. Why? Because bringing your elbows behind your rib cage is gonna eventually cause your shoulder to go into internal rotation, which will impinge the joint. Three, two, release. Basically meaning that it's not the optimal place for your shoulders to be working from. We don't wanna work from here. No, no, here, beautiful. All right, five seconds. We're gonna go for those Arnold presses. I'm gonna try again with my heavier weights. Let's see if we go. Three, two, here we go. Press, press. Ooh, hard to smile, to be honest with you. Mm. 15 seconds, oh my gosh, I'm closing my eyes. I'm with you, but I'm closing my eyes. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, I'm gonna do one more other side, two, and release. Doubt that I'm gonna be able to use those weights for a third set. They did me good, but it's a little too much. All right, we're gonna go for our lat raise. Bam, front raise, bam. Palms down, choo, palms in. <laughs> Pretty easy without weights. All right, grab those weights. Here we go. Again, I'm singling it out because I gotta make it to the end. And I don't wanna be showing you poor form. <laughs> That's the challenge. But what you will get to see, not poor form, <laughs> but a lot of pickly sour faces, right? Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's a good one. Five, four, three, two, release. 15 seconds, we take it to punches. I like the punches, what do you think? This is also my in-between movement. Just get a little noodly. Four, we're gonna grab those weights, we're gonna punch. Three, two, grab your weights and punch. There you go, nice and strong. Push through those feet. Draw your abdominals in. You wanna think like you're wearing a corset and that corset is getting just a little bit tighter as you punch. Less than 10 seconds. Down to just five, four, three, two. I'm gonna do both arms, woo! All right, third set, best set. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm seeing. Do I do it? 
I'm gonna try heavy weights. I'm gonna try, here we go, three. Let's go, two. Grab those weights. Mm. We can do this, certainly. Mm -hmm. You wanna exhale as you push up, inhale as you pull down. Keep going, less than 10 seconds. We're gonna make it to the end. You and me, we're not giving up, no way. Four, three, two, oh, one more. Mm. I used a little help for my legs, that's okay. What do we have next? Lat raise, yes, lat raise, front raise. It's honestly like your arms can float up on their own. It reminds me of what's that light as a feather, stiff as a board, here we go. and forward. Now, when I take my arms out to this side, I'm not going in a T. I'm really making my arms more like a V shape because that is the better shape for your shoulder blades, which we want to be gliding on your rib cage. Four, three, two, and release. Drop them down. Less than 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds. We're gonna do that final set. You ready? Ooh, final set of punches. Three, two, here we go. Punch, punch. Mm. Good, less than 20 seconds, you got this. I'm staring at a clock, I'm not gonna make you do a second extra. 10 seconds, try not to rest the weight on your hip. Yeah, that's tough, right? <laughs> Four, last three, last two, and release. Good, shake it out. All right, circuit three, we are gonna go for our triceps. This is your last muscle group of your push. We have first skull crushers. You're gonna be laying on your back. I'll probably be using my light or my medium weights. Arms go overhead. You're gonna bend the elbows, take them, the hands outside of your head, right, outside of your skull, and then you extend. Bend, extend. Next exercise, we're gonna go for an overhead tricep extension. I'm gonna stay down on the mat because of the, ex the next move. You'll take your arms overhead, bend, and extend. And then your final exercise for your triceps is gonna be a tricep dip. So, hands go underneath your shoulders, puff up your chest, you lift your hips, and we'll just bend and extend those elbows up and down, okay? 15 seconds. Pick the weights you want for skull crushers. I'm gonna start with my medium, knowing that I can go lighter at any point. Four, three, two. All right, skull crushers. So, slowly bend your elbows. Slowly extend. Bend. And extend. There we go. 15 seconds. We're gonna come up for our tricep extensions overhead. I'm gonna go down to one heavy weight. Four, three, two, and extend. All right, so we're gonna come up. I'm gonna do just one heavy weight here and we'll take it overhead. Five. Ooh, I'm sweating. Four, three, two. Take that one weight overhead. Of course, if you have lighter weights, you can do both weights. You're gonna bend, extend. You have the circuit three, and then you're done. Amazing. 10 seconds. We have our tricep dips. Four, three, two, and extend. Slowly lower down with control. All right, tricep dips. You're gonna be sitting on your butt for a sec. Flip your fingers forward. Hands are just underneath your shoulders. Feet are hip width apart. Puff up your chest. Lift your hips, 30 seconds of tricep dips. I hate tricep dips, not to be so negative, but they are very, very challenging for me. We do the best we can. 
You can always take a break if you need or keep your hips on the mat. 10 seconds. Mm -mm -mm. Just close your eyes, grit your teeth, whatever you need to get through it. Three, two, one. Wow, I was watching every second of the clock pass. <laughs> That's how much I hate tricep dips. All right, we have 10 seconds. We're gonna be laying on our back. They're effective, tricep dips, but they're a little tough, right? Five, I would take a skull crusher over a tricep dip any day. Three, lay back, two, punch them up. Okay, now here as well, if things feel a little bit too shaky for me, I'm gonna go to one arm at a time. And it could be that these are the first time you're ever doing these exercises, in which case, you know, take your time. Pause, organize. I've done these exercises many times before. Three, two, and one. And I plan the workout, right? So I know how to alternate quickly between weights and between exercises. It could be that you need a little more time, in which case you're gonna pause, you'll take your seconds, do what you need. Four, three, two. I work out via YouTube. I do strength training videos also on YouTube with a wonderful trainer. Nourish, move, love, she's amazing. I love her so much. Huge shout out. Definitely check her out if you're into strength training. And her transitions are so fast. And so I pause all the time. <laughs> it's totally fine. Once I know the video, it's okay. I can just keep going. But if I don't know the video, it takes me a while to figure out my weights. Three, two, release. And for you, if this is your first time doing this video, you can take a second to get yourself oriented. And then once it's, you know, your fifth time, you'll be cruising. And then it's time to pick up heavier weights. Three, two, lift. That's something I love about strength training. As somebody who <clears throat> is very motivated by progress, I don't think that's so rare, probably everybody is. Strength training, oh, lift those hips, keep going. Strength training is really motivating because you get to change weights. Like it literally becomes so much easier over time. When I started, my five kilo, my light set was three. And now my light set is five. And pretty soon I think my light set is gonna be these guys, which are a little bit closer to seven because I've just been working at it. And it's taken a really long time. We're gonna go for skull crushers in four, three, but I've gotten there. Two, lay down. It's taken a long time, but it's, I mean, really, it's so encouraging. Y'all, this is our last set. I'm chatting about how emotional it is to lift weights, how motivating it is. But really, the headline is, this is your last set of your last circuit, which means that every time we do an exercise, we get to kiss it goodbye. So get ready to kiss these skull crushers goodbye. Five, four, three, two, ooh. All right, next up. Tricep extensions. Seven seconds. Triceps was nice, not too bad, right? Hard, but smooth. Three, two, ooh, I regret saying that. All right, bend your elbows, extend. Sometimes all you can do is breathe. <laughs> 15 seconds, I'm feeling my triceps, are you? I'm getting to that muscle fatigue, muscle failure. Mm, 10 seconds. Less than five, we can make it to the end. Now is not the time to give up. Now is the time to really breathe and finish. Three, two, last one. Okay, tricep dips for the finish, you ready? It's exciting, we've worked so hard to get to this moment. A little bit longer than 20 minutes, not gonna lie. Four, that's okay. Three, two, lift your hips, dip those triceps. Good. Make sure it's not your hips moving here, especially as you get more fatigued. It's not a pelvic thrust, not today. Not in this workout. Mm. We're gonna stretch in 15 seconds. Can you go a little faster? There we go. Ooh. Last 10. Sour face, you got this. Five, ooh, five, only now. Four, three, two, one, and you are Done. Oh, we worked hard. Let us stretch. Let's go ahead and stretch out the chest. 
Interlace your hands behind your back, puff up your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together here. <sighs> Yay, take your hands to your left hip, gaze over your right shoulder. Take your hands to your right hip, gaze over your left shoulder. Take your right arm overhead, pull that right elbow towards the center of your back. Feel that tricep stretch, feels good, they worked hard. Switching sides, grab your left elbow. Perfectly, finally, just reach your arms long, lift your chest, take a deep inhale. You made it to the end, you made it through that push workout. Oh, exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me. I feel so proud of all that we just accomplished on this mat. I hope you feel pumped up, energized, and ready to tackle the rest of your day. If you like this workout and you haven't tried my pull workout, then I would recommend you try my upper body pull workout. Get a little bit of the back, a little bit of the biceps. And of course, if you like these workouts, then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.